So, John, I think at this point, it's safe to say there are people who really don't think we should be at this point in the tournament. Uh, but yeah, what I'll tell you, we got one member of Bullets Over Broadway. I think we could take the second. And here's why. He almost lost to the guy we TKO'd. That is so, true. I don't know. Is Bar rusty? Is Bar old? Is he out of date? Is he out of touch? All of those things. He doesn't watch movies. We've learned this every week on YLS. I can't believe he ever won. It was a total fluke. Uh, and that's why this match uh, is we'll just keep upsetting people. What do you think? I think so, too. You know what I realized? It dawned on me. Like, I'm number 13. Yeah, I'm number 13, and that's like kind of fitting because like I appear to be horrible luck for everybody I play. That's true. Everyone that plays me plays the absolute worst game they've ever played. So, Bar, get ready to play the worst game you've ever played, and it has nothing to do with me. It's their fault for making me number 13. Let's go. Have an unlucky match, Bar. How many times did you defend the belt, Bar? Looks like. Four, uh, four or five, something around. Yeah, there. I can't remember for certain. Total, total fluke, though. I, to I agree. Um, Most of them in against spite of, men. in spite of that, we're here in the tournament. Um, as they said, you know, first round was tough, but look, I think you got your weird match out of the way in round one. We survived and advanced. Now I think the nerves are off, and of course we have revenge on our minds, um, given what uh, John did to Kirk in round one. What are your thoughts? Well, it was also a movie that I was required to watch um for this match uh revenge um so first of all i want to say last time i was on here i kind of acted like a ass clown a little bit um so my apologies to everyone who was involved especially to andrew just you deserve better than that speaking of clowns caleb coho um look john is a great competitor i'm not going to take that away from him he's a great competitor he's arguably rookie of the year at this moment um and i'm just gonna have fun that's all i want to do today so best of luck to you john hopefully more luck to me we're also gonna win though let's play Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Multiplex Movie Warzone. I'm your host, Caleb Lobo Boatman, and today we have the number four seed, Andrew Barr, going up against the number 13 seed, John Marr. Should be an interesting match, but before we go to them, Bill, uh, how are you feeling about this match? Uh, I'm pretty excited. This looks going to be a pretty good one, I believe. Uh, I mean, we have Barr, resume speaks for itself, former champion, defended that belt more times than I've seen a woman naked. And then we have, I'm just kidding, really, I've seen a lot, but it's fine. Um, and then John Mayer, who's making a lot of noise in his first year and is just killing it. So what happens when the unstoppable force meets the immovable object? I have no idea. Fair enough. Well, um, we'll bring in. Yeah. Uh, round one's going to work like this. Eight different questions, eight different categories. You get all eight right. You get a bonus question, three repeats, and a challenge throughout the entire round. As we get into your first question in the category of music. In 2019's Yesterday, Himesh Patel's character Jack is asked to tour with what real life musician? Now, I saw this movie and it was a delight. See, I never got the love for it. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Four, three, two. One and sound mark. Also, never got the love for it because I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm Bob Dylan and Bar Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran is correct. All right, your next question comes in the category of classics. What is the name of Captain Nemo's submarine in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? You fan underwater? Uh, I mean, I am a boat, so I usually stay above. Water. True. Although, according to James Bond, that's where all the best crime happens, is in the water. So. Two, one, pens down. Let's go to John. The Nautilus. And Bart. Yep, that's it. I had the Excelsior. The Nautilus is correct. As we get into your third question, category of comedy, what is the subtitle for Police Academy 2? These movies have aged quite <laughs> <laughs> like, I, 
like milk out in the sun in August. Four, three, two, one, pens down. Let's go to Bart. I got the sixth one, City Under Siege. And Mark. Is it their first assignment? That is correct. Mm. All right, your next question is in the category of the 1970s. Alfred Hitchcock's Frenzy is about a serial killer who strangles women with what article of clothing? Frenzy is a fun word to say. Yes, but we do not condone violence against people. So just, that is true. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to John. Stockings? And Bart. A tie. Tie is correct. And we're all back to being tied up as we get to your next question. In the category of fantasy sci-fi, who provides the voice of Chip Hazard in 1998's Small Soldiers? Never saw this. So. Uh, I also have never seen this. It made money, so I guess people Five, liked it. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Bart. I'm guessing that's Tommy Lee Jones's character. And John. That sounds right. It's not John Boyd. It is Tommy Lee Jones. All right. Your next question is in the category of animated. What 2010s stop motion animated film takes place in the town of Blythe Hollow? I got nothing to add. You know, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid I'll, I'll give some stuff away. I'm trying to that's fair. That's I'm, that's I'm, I'm still the new guy. So. Yeah. Four, three. Try to get a repeat on that. Um, okay. Uh, what 2010s stop motion animated film takes place in the town of Blythe Hollow? Trying to get that banana sticker at the end of the month for a good employee. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I've got your color card on green right now. So you're doing well. That's better than purple. Five. Four, <laughs> three. Two. One. Pens down. Let's go to John. I have no idea, but Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were Rabbit. And Bart. Paranorman. Paranorman is correct. Right a lot there for nothing. As we get to your penultimate question, category of directors. Who directed the films The Devil's Advocate, An Officer and a Gentleman, and Ray? Speaking of movies that have aged poorly, Officer and a Gentleman. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> now, devil's advocate, that's just printed on pure cocaine. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Pen sound. Let's go to Bart. Taylor Hackford? And John. That's right. I didn't have anything. Taylor Hackford is correct. All right. And your final question, since there are no perfect rounds, is in the category of mystery thriller. James Cromwell plays the president in what 2002 action thriller? Favorite fictional president? Oh, duh. President Bartlett from the West Wing. Five. I would have went with Lex Luthor. That's me. Three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Bart. No idea. Evolution. And Mark. I have nothing. Looking for the sum of all fears. Ah. So it is five to two bars lead as we get into yep. round. And we're going to get into round two. Round two is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin, they can keep it. If they don't, they can spin again. But then they're stuck with it. They're going to get five questions in whatever category they get. They get it right. Two points, multiple choice, one point. Uh, other player gets a chance for the steal if they get it wrong. Categories on our lovely wheel tonight are... Bar strengths of Reese Witherspoon and 20th Century Stage to Screen Musicals. Mar strengths of, po uh, nope, that's there. Post-1990 horror anthologies and 21st Century horror. We also have comic book movies, romantic comedies, westerns, and family. For whatever reason, I thought opponent's choice was not on the wheel, but it is. <laughs> so, Bar, you're in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer? I want the we'll old go second, right? Uh, yeah, let's go second. Okay. Mar, this is your spin. Oh, and no. you land on opponent's choice. Nah, just slow down. You got it. So, well, Scott. Pilgrim, shall we travel out west? 
yeah, let's do Westerns. Okay. John, your questions in the category of Westerns. Yep. If I can find them. Here they are. What is the first name of Hugh Glass's son in The Revenant? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A. Hawk, B. Lincoln, C. Daniel, D. Trout. Trout. Trout is incorrect. Bar for the one point steal. Your options are A. Hawk, B. Lincoln, C. Daniel, D. Trout. Five, four, Hawk. that is correct for one point. Your next question. Who plays English Bob in Unforgiven? I'll do multiple on that one too. Multiple choice options are A, Richard Griffiths, B, Richard Harris, C, Richard Attenborough, D, Richard Dreyfus. Richard Harris. That is correct for one point. Okay. What is the profession of Johnny Depp's character in Dead Man? Uh, multiple, choice. multiple choice options are A, accountant, B, doctor, C, professor, D, lawyer. Professor? That is incorrect. Bar for the one-point steal. Your options are A, accountant, B, doctor, C, professor, D, lawyer. He's an accountant. Correct for one point. In The Searchers, Natalie Wood's character was taken by what Native American tribe? Jeez. I mean, multiple choice probably won't help me here. Uh, <laughs> the Apache. That is incorrect. Bar for the two-point steal. The one that's ringing out to me. Uh, Cherokee. That is also incorrect. Looking for Comanches. As we get to your last question, John. In Once Upon a Time in the West, Charles Bronson's character is nicknamed after what instrument, which he also plays? Harmonica? Correct for two points. I got a Western question, kids. Let's go. He's branching out. So we have bar at seven, John at five. Exactly As we get into bar spin. Oh, this is new. <laughs> bar your spin. The other like day, bar you by nothing. <laughs> and you land on spinner's choice. Holy moly. Um, Reese? Hopefully I'll do better in it this time. Yeah, let's go. Reese Witherspoon. Oh, all right, Reese Witherspoon. And right. Bill, you will give Barr his questions in the category of Reese Witherspoon. It would be my honor. Uh, Barr, if you are ready. Yeah, sure. In A Wrinkle in Time, mm -hmm. what is the name of the planet the happy medium is from? Oh, multiple choice. Is it A, Orion, B, Uriel, C, Kamazats, or D, Igzel? Can I get those options again? Sure. Is it A, Orion, B, Uriel, C, Kamazats, or D, Igzel? Azel. Um, that is incorrect. I'm sorry, John. Uh, chance for a one point seal. Is it A, Orion, B, Uriel, C, Kamazats, or D, Azel? Kamazats? It is also incorrect. We're for A, Orion. Okay. All right. Your next question In Monsters vs. Aliens, what city is Susan's husband planning to move to? Um, five. Multiple oh. choice. Your options are A, Cleveland, B, Fresno, C, Boise, or D, Portland. Fresno. That is correct. Your next question. Okay. 
In Vanity Fair, what country does Amelia's brother Joe's live in? Is that right? Am I saying that right? J O S? Yeah. Okay. Um, India. That is correct. Two points. All right. Your next question. What is the profession of Martin Short's character in Inherent Vice? He's a dentist. That is correct. Two points. All right. And what is, I believe, your final question? In Little Nicky, who plays Nicky's oldest brother, Adrian? It's between two. Reese Fonts. That is correct for two points. Okay, so we're gonna, uh, uh, what? Right, I was going to say, if I have that right, it's 14 5. 14 to 5 as we get into round three. Round three is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get to pick what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four point question. Categories they will be able to pick from tonight are horror, Audrey Hepburn, westerns. Crime, Faye Dunaway, Animation, Drama, and War. We will let them pick their categories right now, and we will get back to you right now. Okay, we are back, and our competitors had picked what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-point question. Barr has picked his one in Crime, his two in Audrey Hepburn, his three in Animation, and his four in Horror, whereas John has picked his one in Animation, his two in War, his three in Horror, and his four in Crime. So, uh, since John is behind by nine, we will start with him. Uh, Bill, take it away. Sure thing. All right, John, you're one pointer in the category of crime if you're ready. Animation. I'm sorry. I immediately caught that the second I said it out loud. <laughs> if you're ready for that animation one pointer. Bill, whatever you want to ask is fine by me. It's fine. I'm going to give you, <laughs> I'm gonna give you what you asked for. In 101 Dalmatians, what is the full name of the woman who attempts to kidnap the puppies? Cruella DeVille. That's correct for a point. Oh, thank you, Mr. Right. That was embarrassing. Your two pointer in war. And reminder if John misses any of these next three, Bar does win by way of DKF. That would be fine. Black Hawk Down is set in what African country? Somalia. For two. All right. Give you your three pointer in horror. What is Heather's husband's specific responsibility on the film in Wes Craven's New Nightmare? He is a prop maker. And your winner, by way of technical knockout, Andrew the Dive Bar. The correct answer was to design Freddy's glove. Oh, I thought it was his role in the film. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we will be going to post match interviews, starting with John. Yes, so we get your manager in here. John, uh, you, you weren't able to pull off the victory, but uh, you uh, yeah, misunderstood that last question, too. That's on me. You weren't able to pull off the victory, but uh, you made it far in this tournament, uh, farther than maybe some people thought you would. How are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, Definitely people didn't think I was going to win any matches last tournament, so that's, that's good. Uh, and, and I salute those people for thinking that. I hope, I hope you think I'm going to lose every time you see my face. That would make me very happy. Yes. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll say it's, it's hard to overcome a spinner's opponent's game, you know? It's hard to yeah. do that. Uh, so I, I'll applaud Barr on, on doing better in it this time. Uh, I, I, I'm proud of you. Uh, you did a good job. Uh, but, yeah, I uh, not much to do. We, we got opponents. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not upset. I don't get upset, so it's fine. Yeah. Uh, that's that. I mean, congratulations to Bar. I, I know roughly. <coughs> that's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah I, know where, I know where he lives and works, so if anything, if he says anything horrible, I'll just go visit him. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not a violent guy. Either. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Uh, well, Bill, thank you so much for your, your patience and your, your integrity, and I will see you when I see you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you, John. So we get over to our winner, Bar. Bar, you pulled off the victory. How are you feeling? Uh, I mean, I feel good. Um, I, I do hate the fact that 
it was a spinner's opponent's choice situation because I know John is a fantastic player. Um, it just kind of somehow sometimes happens that way. Um, and to anyone who said that John wasn't going to win a single match. Yeah, in I don't know where that's like, coming yeah, from. Man, but it who, must be some kind of inside reference, but I mean, yeah, we, who the hell is on that like much strong cocaine. player? So yeah. Um, uh, but yeah. Bar I do want to say officially they yeah. thought Kirk was going to lose to Mar. Uh, that was his only match in the tournament. Just say. I mean, uh, I mean, we thought so too, but that's because he's our boy. Uh, <laughs> I do want to no, say. Uh, oh, go ahead. I do want to say, what they don't know is that my lucky number is thirteen. So. Okay. Well. Um, you uh, will be moving on to the tournament. You'll be playing the winner of um, Mac and Menchaca. How do you feel about either of those? Uh, I haven't played Menchaca yet. It'd be nice to play him for the first time. Uh, and as for Quailar, um, I had fun the last time we played. So either way, I think I'm going to enjoy myself. Scott, what do you what do you think, though? Look, we're at the, the point in the tournament where anyone we're going to face is capable of winning the title. So we're just going to take whoever comes next to us. Uh, they're obviously both really strong players, uh, but Barr, I think, had a convincing win today, and I'm confident in him going forward. Well, uh, thank you, Barr. Thank you, Scott. Bill, final thoughts on the match? Yeah. I mean, uh, Barr played like we've seen Barr play before in the past. Uh, that's nothing against John. I mean, he got into a hole, then he got Spinner's opponents, but managed to fight his way out as best he could made a run in it in round three just sometimes you just get stuck with some hard questions i've been there more times than i want to admit but uh either way it, it was a good time all around so yeah that's fair well thank you bill thank you john thank you Barr. thank you to their managers thank you to everyone at home for watching this has been multiplex movie war zone see you later goodbye <laughs> Storm in the castle. Think it'll work? Keep it taken. Bye. -bye.